Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is something interesting, something unique, and something extremely classic all at the same time, and it's called Buzzed Puzzles. I've got a couple puzzles here to show you. These are not your grandmother's puzzles, and they say 18 and up on the box, though realistically you can probably play with younger people. This one here is Shot Glasses. Buzz Puzzles is basically 504 pieces of a puzzle you're gonna put together, and uh, for the basic set of puzzles, there's different types of puzzles where I'll show up, boom, boom, boom. And they're basically going to allow you to create a beautiful work of art that is interesting, unique, and a little bit adult themed. A buzz puzzle drinking puzzle, however, is similar to the buzz puzzles, but instead in this one, you're actually going to be putting together little extra things on the uh, puzzle. So as you can see, there's little tequila worms and bees and whatnot. And all of these have their own unique game variant rules for playing a drinking game. So as you put the puzzle together, you're going to be drinking. So if that's something you're interested in, there's an option for that as well. Anyway, let's come down below and I will show you all that is included in one of the Buzz Puzzles drinking puzzle game. And uh, then we'll go ahead and talk about what I think about Buzz Puzzles. Um, and of course, I didn't put it together down below because it does take quite a bit of time, but you'll get to see all the pieces and whatnot. I think you'll get the idea. So here we have the 504 piece tequila time puzzle. It's 16 by 20 inches and it's by Buzz Puzzles. As you can see everything down below, I could have just thrown it all down like the Dice Tower does, but uh, I was afraid I'd lose a piece. And with puzzles, you don't want to lose a piece because that ruins it. It doesn't, it, the perfection is not there anymore. Um, but nevertheless, you're going to be getting a bunch of puzzle pieces and they are of nice quality. They're going to have uh, nothing on the backside. And then of course they're going to have coloration on the front. And what you're going to do with a puzzle is pretty simple. You're going to look for these side pieces and the bottom and top pieces and you're going to try and put those all in an area and then you're going to try and put all the colored pieces in an area and then you're going to link them together. Now of course in a 504 piece puzzle there's going to be quite more quite many, more many pieces than a smaller puzzle and they do have different variations of a longer gameplay or a shorter gameplay. This one probably takes a couple hours at least I would imagine with the more experienced puzzle buffs it would take a little less time but overall I think you get what the experience is going to be it is a puzzle box that comes with a bunch of puzzle pieces that you're going to put together and they're going to include some type of adult content most of them are pretty they're not too aggressively like uh, mature there's some like you know, good looking women there's some shot glasses and whatnot I showed you them previously and this one here can be pretty much played with anybody however there is a mature theme to them and they do have interesting artwork from different people I believe in the Los Angeles area. So anyway that is basically what you're going to be getting in the game. I would go ahead and put this together but uh, I would need a time lapse of about four, three to four hours most likely in order to get this done because I'm not the most amazing puzzler. However we did put it together and it was not too complex, not too difficult but this is what you're getting in the game. Alright let's come up and talk about Buzz Puzzles uh, the 18 year old uh, not your grandmother's puzzle. So you saw it it's a puzzle in a box right? It's something that you've probably seen quite a lot of over the past decade or two and I, most of the time when I think of a puzzle, I think of something that is uh, something my grandmother put together. In fact, the last time I actually picked up a puzzle was I went to a Goodwill. Grandma asked me to pick something up. And so to appease grandma, I went and got her some cottage houses and some flowers and whatnot. Those basic type puzzles you would find there. There's also some Disney puzzles and anything that you'd find from a normal animation standpoint, you're going to find as well. Whether it be Jafar and Aladdin or maybe it's going to be something like uh, Lilo and Stitch. And those are great and fine for kids. And then you have the cottage gardens, which are fine for grandma, but when it comes to adults uh, or kids, anywhere the ages of like 18 to 30, those type of puzzles generally are not going to be as interesting. And if you're a puzzle lover, I know there's a big community for those of you who like puzzles, uh, this is going to be an interesting new addition to the community. Now you'll be able to uh, put together puzzles that have different nice picture art as well as some different types of uh, painting and whatnot uh, that is also having a mature theme attached to it. Uh, if I were to select a puzzle to play it would definitely be Buzz Puzzles. It's just fairly straightforward for me as to all the puzzles I've ever played in the past. They are fun and enjoyable and they're kind of one of those things that you do while you're doing something else. And I would say that's probably something along the lines of this. With great conversation and great people comes a great puzzle. If you're just simply by yourself it's probably not going to be as enjoyable at least not for me personally. 
However, during New Year's Day, going ahead and putting this together, uh, it was fun. And of course, the custom drinking puzzle, which has the same artwork with additional uh, uh, worms and whatnot, including the drinking rules, which is actually listed, I'll put it in the description below if you're interested in taking a look at that. It gives it a little more life to the puzzle and actually has an interactive game. And I like the idea of putting an interactive game within a puzzle. Placing the puzzle pieces will give you more fulfillment and more enjoyment, and I think that's going to be a better way in which you're going to be placing down puzzle pieces, as opposed to maybe what some would call the monotony of doing so. It might actually branch a new life into the puzzle puzzler fandom, in which you're going to get more people interested, especially those who are interested in drinking. However, with a puzzle game, you don't actually have to drink, so it's kind of nice. You can have those people that want to when they're putting the pieces together, and the people that don't, who just enjoy puzzles. And if your grandmother's anything like my grandmother, this actually might be your grandmother's puzzle, because she'd probably be really interested in putting this together. In fact, I know she would be, uh, but maybe not some of the other designs. Overall, though, it's a puzzle. You're putting together a puzzle, and if you don't like that idea, I don't think this experience is going to change unless you like the idea of putting together a puzzle while having something to drink due to following the rules. Similar to Jenga and drinking Jenga, right? Then if you have that differentiation where you won't normally play Jenga, but with drinking Jenga at a party you would play, this might be something fun you put down at a party and on a table somewhere during an event and people can come by and start putting together pieces or moving them around as they're doing other things. That's kind of a cool little aspect as well. For me personally, will I start pulling out puzzles all the time? Probably not so much due to the amount of time I have and the fact that these take a lot. But if I did want to select a puzzle, it would be a buzzed puzzle, at least for right now, because I really do enjoy the different artwork and whatnot. And I would of course have to find an activity for the people that in my family enjoy puzzles. And this would be the one I would show them. Uh, maybe maybe not some of the more uh, risque ones, but for grandma, this would be a good one. And then specifically for my friends who are more into the chess type games and whatnot, the strategy and the placement and whatnot. These are great mind belt builders, I think, as well. So I, I'm, I'm on the level with this one, of course, because it's a puzzle. And if you're going to enjoy puzzles, it's, this is something you're going to want to check out. And it is going to breathe new life into the community, in my opinion. I will definitely be doing more of these puzzles now, especially as they come out. I'll probably, if I get a chance, I want to do a live play of putting together one and hopefully what I'd like to do actually is have like I was talking about before like this four hour time lapse of the puzzle being put together and showing what it is like to put together a buzz puzzle and the final I mean that's the best part about a puzzle is putting it together and it's finally completed and you get to see it and you spray it so that you get to keep it and put it on the wall this would be one I would actually keep on my wall as opposed to some other puzzles that I've seen at the stores but overall the choice is yours uh, it has good quality and I'm interested to see it all the different designs they make buzz puzzles check it out in the description below if it sounds like something you'd be interested in uh, taking a look at for your family or simply for you and your uh, drinking game nights all right cue the outro all right guys thanks for watching another unfiltered gamer board game review or puzzle review i suppose if you like this video go check out those our videos here on youtube like subscribe and comment as well as check out our website unfilteredgamer.com tons of blog posts give away some more uh, buzz puzzles uh, i'm afraid to drop these on the floor <laughs> as well as checking out our friends at bingboardgames.com and the giveaway geek tons of great giveaways as well my site has one as well currently if you'd like to check that out unfiltered gamer board game giveaways you can actually google it. it'll be one of the top three as well as my friends of course which is pretty sweet all right guys that's all i got for this time and as always i look forward to putting together puzzles with you i dropped one next time <laughs>